All right, guys, welcome back. Now this time, it's, don't head to the right. It leads you to literally nowhere. So take the left path, left, left stair case specific, and go northeast into the next staircase. Use your skates if you don't want to actually get into battles. But also, here's a tip for you guys. If you want to make things really easy, equip the Aqua Ring on everybody. And because, obviously, this place is underwater, all the enemies here will be water-based. Therefore, all its attacks will actually be reduced to zero. Um, well, barring, like, one or two physical-based attacks. But yeah, um, boss battles reduce the, reduce the water-based attacks by half. And random encounters actually reduce it by, I believe, 100%. I haven't had them hit me for more than zero. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, yeah, equip the Ocarina and you're good to go. Now, you basically get those two chests right there. And then, just instead of skipping the middle path this time, you're going to want to take it. And from here, use your skates, go down. I'm only using my skates to avoid the random encounters. But if you want, if you want experience Angela, go ahead and fight them all. Because they actually give quite a bit, actually. So anyways, um, take the upper path, push this block aside, push this block aside, push the, this block aside, and you're good to go. Now head down the staircase. From here, you're going to avoid the middle path because you obviously can't go past it. And take the right path here. From here, you're going to want to either use run and fight your battles or use your skates, pointing to basically northwest and northeast, northwest, northeast, northwest. That's your pattern. Okay, so what the, what you have to do here is you have to push the stone blocks into the green squares. So we'll do that right now. And we'll get a crest graph. Now each each stone block has has a certain green square that only that can that it can only sit on and activate the switches, I guess, so you can get the chest. So you go to the top stone block, push it to the left green square. Go to the bottom stone block, push it to the right green square. Now, if you mix that up, it's not going to work. So all you have to do is either use your watch or exit and enter the room again. Okay, so there's another crest graph. From here, you're going to take this stone block, move it a close to the center, leave a little space so Rudy can walk on past it, and then push this stone block down into the bottom left green square. Now push this stone block into the upper right green square. And get your chest. There we go. Now this one is not very tricky, so just push this up until you get enough room to maneuver in. Push the right stone block onto the right green square. Push the left stone block onto the green square. And push the center stone block onto the top square. And you'll get yourselves hmm, a shining cape. Yeah, that's it. If you use this as Mystic, what, what will happen is it will actually cast the spell... F well, it will actually flash the enemies, at which point they will be... It will reduce their parry rate, if of course they're susceptible to it. Otherwise, it's a good defensive good defensive um, cape for Cecilia. Now, this one is the trickiest of the bunch, obviously, since it's the last one. So you want to move this top left square to, to a little bit up, so you have enough room to maneuver around it. Push this bottom square down until its bottom is aligned with the bottom of this here green square. And push it to the far left. Now, next, you're going to want to move this um, square block and align it with the bottom right square and push it into it. Going to walk to this stone block here, push it all the way to center right, and obviously the last stone block will go here. And get yourselves a vase. Magic vase. When used by Cecilia, produces an endless flow of water. She can use it to put out those difficult fires. All right, guys. So that is it for this section of the of the map. What you're going to do is you're going to go all the way back down through the staircase, and yeah, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are now. Instead of avoiding the middle path, oh, also if you're if you're below level 29 or 29 or below, you might want to save. The boss fight is going to come up in a bit, so go ahead and save if you need to. Then equip Cecilia and use her vase on that flame there to activate the switch or walk to reveal the switch, and then you walk on top of it to activate it. From here, you're going to want to keep Cecilia equipped. Move this slightly to the right so Cecilia can fit in. Same with that. And push this all the way. Now use your vase. Pull, um, douse the fires. And get this duplicator. Use your watch go to, just to go back to the beginning of the entrance there. And then this time, take the right path. 
You want to do the same thing, just leave yourself a little bit of room so your character can go through the little slots. And then make sure you're healed up. The boss fight, the next boss fight isn't hard, it's just, um, it, well, it's not hard at all, so, yeah. Okay, so what you're going to do is take off the Aqua Ring, re-equip Secret Book, then this one was the Reflex, and then him was the Gauntlet. So, there you go. Now let's talk to Lucadia. Welcome, warriors, and the innocent one. I am Lucadia. I am the eternal flutist whose music permeates the oceans from the depths of the dragon's shrine. The teardrop is in its rightful hand, called you over here. Mother has been defeated and is now my nourishment. Yet, the dreams of the demon race are not over. Tell me, Lucadia, what are they planning to do now? How was Siegfried going to destroy the Guardians? The ray line, it's the artery of life which connects all of us together and maintains all life on the planet. After our strength had weakened, we decided to combine our strength through a device the El Elus had left behind. From inside the Elu Pyramid, the network began to pump life energy throughout Vilgaia. And if we sever this ray line, we can clean this planet for good. I'm not sure about this, Zeke, but here goes nothing. <gasps> Harkin! I came for the big fish, the Sea Guardian, but this is a pleasant surprise. I always wanted to fight you again. We were meant for each other, you and I. We were both born to fight. On guard, let's see what you've got. Alright, so Lady Harkin here has 14,000 HP, will drop 6,600 experience, and like I said, try and be at least level 29. Now with Rudy, um, you're going to want to use Rocket Launcher until he gets his Force Arm Lock on, and then at that point you're going to use Twin Orbs. But Jack, use Meteor Dive, and with Cecilia, make sure she's, she casts Slow Down twice and then Armor Down twice. Now as for Lady Harkin, she has a major attack, it's called Guilty Blade. What it'll do is it'll hit one of your party members, uh, primarily Jack, and it will act as a blast attack and hit the other characters, hit your, hit your other characters also. So basically it's an AoE. Another attack that she has is the Laser Silhouette. It'll deal about 500-600 damage, well 5-700 to 700 damage depending on your level, um, to, to a, single, a single character. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so Rudy, Rocket Launcher until you get Force Arm. Okay, here's a strategy. <laughs> Sorry. Here's a st strategy. Rocket Launcher until you get your Force Arm lock on, and then start using Twin Orbs. Otherwise, continue, continue to repeat that. And with Jack, continually use Meteor Dive until he gets his Force level 3, at which point you'll use Sonic Vision. And if you need him to heal for whatever reason, go ahead and use Heal Blade. But otherwise, Meteor Dive and Sonic Vision will be his primaries. Cecilia, so slow down twice, armor down twice, and if you're... Uh, maybe level 27 28 and you're here you shield at least once or twice just to make sure everybody can um make sure cecilia isn't um focusing on healing the entire time and is instead trying to assist with assist spells like slow down armor down so anyway slow down twice armor down twice and shield if you need to and keep her as primarily as a healer so anyways guys hope, um hope you guys do a good job and defeat lady harkin I guess I was wrong about you, baby. Go back to the ship with a blow from my ass rail. What? What? I can't move. We're going to continue this later, sweetheart. So, they were after the ray line. It's not easy to destroy an entire planet, even for the demons. Shaman child, use my powers to defend your planet. 
So we got the Triton rune, which is actually a very good rune. Her sword technique looks just like my fast draw, but it looks a little different. Alright, fast draw hint. Now, the fast draw hint that he acquired from Lady Harkin is actually the same as her guilty blade. So it'll hit an entire group, and it's actually, um, it, it's, it's pretty solid, so, yeah. Now with Cecilia, all you have to do is escape, and so you don't have to go back all the way to the beginning. Now, I will tell you this, guys. If you guys do need Gela, or you just want to level up, just go ahead and go to that long hallway where you, where you did the whole puzzle thingy well, with the stone blocks. And you should get into a bunch of random counters. Just make sure you have your Aqua your aqua Rings equipped. Yeah, the Aqua Rings equipped. That way you take, like, you basically, you'll basically take no damage whatsoever, and you'll be able to grind longer. So... Yeah, now once you're done that, step on the portal, go back to Sweet Candy. Okay, at this point, we now have access to the Outer Sea. The Outer Sea is basically what you see below, well, around, on the outskirts of the entire world map. The outside section, that's the Outer Sea. The Inner Sea is basically inside of the, of the map, enclosed by land. So yeah, now we have access to the Outer Sea, which will actually house more stronger random encounter monsters. So keep that in mind you're gonna to want to like actually unload on them at this point at this point in time because they are actually very strong now in the next episode we are going to check out the isolated guild where you can finally get your advanced spells and basically your advanced spells and trust me these get these things are insanely strong and very very useful especially in the next areas we're going to head into so definitely um follow along and get your good spells and i'll show i'll show you the basically the, the primary spells you're definitely going to want to get and the other ones are basically optional and yeah we're also going to get a few few bottle treasures lying around on the outer sea we are going to check out in a survival arena and if you guys are used to rpgs then you'll know what the arenas are for and it's actually rather good and then we'll also get two rune sky well in the general section of arctica and yeah they're basically on the world map so anyways guys thanks for watching come back next time and we'll do all that so see you guys later